Hello my beautiful soul, hello my darlings, my lovelies, how are you? Welcome to this channel or welcome back. Today we are going to do a pick a card reading, pick a pile reading for April 2024, Aries season. Hello. Hello Empress, as you can see I have prepared uh, three decks, three groups already. So what we're going to do today is... I will be shuffling cards and pulling uh, pulling cards from different decks right in front of you whilst talking about astrology, what happens in astrology in the month of April. And But if you already know which pile you already would like to, or if you're chosen where your choosing pile is by uh, your zodiac sign, I will be pulling cards for each zodiac sign, so there will be four for each and I will put them in timestamps as well, so you can see which one is yours. Do not forget or remember. Um, check your chart as well. So your moon, sun and rising and Venus and popping those. It could be sometimes in the same pile even, but popping those groups as well. So there is no right or wrong. Go with your intuition, whatever flows your boat. However, we do have um, crystals as well. I'm going to introduce. We have the jade. Uh, perfect for healing. We have so the light, very creative indeed, and a uh, kind of bit smoky pink uh, crystal as well. So group number three. Anyways, I'm gonna pump them here. Thank you so much for being here, by the way. I really, really appreciate your presence. And when you like and you comment and you share, and that's good to share as well with others who might benefit and subscribe. It really helps me to help you, and that's what I call energy exchange i really appreciate that anyways le let's begin so what's happening what's happening what's happening what's happening april today i'm filming on first of april the fool's day okay and mercury is going retrograde in aries and you're gonna stay there till 25th of april just keep in mind there could be as well a little bit shadow side around that as well but what usually retrogrades mean? That usually means um, re Mercury rules communications, telecommunications, communications with people, technologies even as well. And when it goes in retrogrades, it can affect um, some whatever that is, computers, phones, okay? So before you may be sending some emails off, before you signing anything new, any contracts, please, 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 please double check every single detail, okay? And double check it, double check again, okay? Because that is, oh, wow, we have to change, okay? Number one. And because that's usually a journey met ret retrograde, retrograde, can happen um, very often as well. It's especially in Aries, which is rather sharp-ish um, in character. Try to avoid knee-jerk reactions, guys. Okay, because that can really um, backlash on you perhaps later. <laughs> All right. So, so what do we happening? Um, yeah, it's gonna be up until twenty fifth of April, and then from the first of May, it's going retrograde again. But anyways, that's. Uh, ahead of myself already so and then we have solar eclipse very powerful um eclipse season we're having right now because the solar eclipse is in aries again and it's direct junction with Charon. so it will be it's interesting because there will be like kind of old wounds be healed okay and especially it's good because the mercury is in retrograde it kind of gives that time of review revise and reflect looking at the lessons that you have learned things that didn't work and kind of figuring out or reflecting and contemplating why things didn't work out and so it will be as well kind of area um for some of you on the solar eclipse that you lose the tolerance for people who do not understand you or criticize you and or drag you down and I feel some of you who have outgrown others or peer group will find a new path okay and that's absolutely normal because when uh well the new moon especially in solar eclipse it's the energies are double heightened indeed now on 23rd of April later in the month we have the full moon in Scorpio well look Scorpio is a dig dig deeper he likes to he she likes to dig deep and find answers and it could be so that there is some sort of a answers or mysticism or secrets and it's 
could be if you feel like you want to dig deep and find what's really happening okay is this uh relationship wise is this work wise doesn't matter okay and it will be the right kind of feeling of that you've been put in the spotlight and you will realize what you want and what you need in your life and what you don't as well it's very kind of very bright in your face and what this happens is well, because scorpio is very intuitive you will feel um you might feel other people's energies perhaps so it's important oh, thank you you might feel that you need to be to protect yourself and cleanse yourself at the same time as well uh full moons so sometimes it's the closure and it could be as well that it brings you energy of fulfillment you might be asking question what makes me happy what makes me fulfilled what empties me what drains me it's important to listen to those messages right and then of course end of the month it's 25th of april um mercury is going direct for a little while and off you go <laughs> and that's what is good you know met retrograde i call metrogate um it's like one word for mercury in retrograde um it's a good time to kind of get your house in order and then when we go straight it goes direct we are going straight right and that's for astrology for the month of april let's pick the Let's pick the cards for signs. Okay, group number one, two, three, one, two, three. This in here. Okay, this in here. Okay. Alrighty, group number one. We have Hierophant, Taurus, Death, Scorpio, Hello, Strength, Leo, and Capricorn. Lovely. Thank you so much. Group number two, we have Virgo, we have Gemini, we have Pisces, and they are Aquarius. Mm. Okay. And we have Chariot, Cancer, we have Sagittarius, Libra, and Emperor Aries. Right. You can pause, you can take your time, you can scry above your screen, whatever that is. Usually once it takes over past three seconds or so, it is, uh, intuition works for a couple of seconds, but then your logical mind kicks in. But don't worry, you can uh, flip it between the grips, no right or wrong. Anyways, you ready to go? Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay. I pop them here and hold them to the side. Alrighty. Right, group number one. Hello, hello. This is April 2024. Aries sees a new year. <clears throat> so what we have Capricorn, Leo, we have Scorpio and Taurus. I'm gonna place them here on the side. And I will be um we have this beautiful emperor here. I quite like this card to be honest. It's very um colorful uh amazing and you chose the jade right you ready let's go what do we have we have self-reflection um <laughs> isn't this interesting and right in mercury retrograde we have freedom Ooh, that is interesting we have the change as you saw if slip slipping through the cards relationship dynamics wowzers very powerful new career isn't this interesting unlikely okay gossip petty jealousy and envy a journal hmm quite full on ones to be honest we have blood on the moon we have destiny and risk and rewards okay let me organize the cards a bit a bit more And we have major road ahead, guys. You, wow. Let me let me soak in a little bit. Give me the messages. Oh, this one is very strong here. The new career, definitely. I could feel with my hand. Just like literally want to grab it. Really, really hot energy here. A lot of things happening, especially around your career. And that could rock the boat as well. I'm feeling here as well. There is um, quite a strong 
kind of volcano is happening, I feel, in your life or it's currently as well. And either you are brewing through um, some sort of, brewing through some troubles or things in your life and you're already building or I feel like this mountain has been in your life that some sort of obstacles that you're overcoming, right? What we're having with the self-reflection right now, especially as well, it's kind of like you are realizing um, your worth. You're realizing where I'm going, what I'm doing. Do I like what I see or not? And it is as well a reflection that your inner world reflects the outer world, correct? And you feel like, okay, there is never too late to be happy. It's never too late to do some changes and even little changes um, bit by bit, you know, and it doesn't have to be tearing the house down or moving to a different state. I can change my life. I don't have to wait for someone to leave me or me leaving someone else. I can change right here, right now. I have everything that I need. There's a lot of movement and changes happening. You kind of feel like, maybe you have, feel like you have been living in in some sort of um, feeling of the same or same. Or, or you have caught yourself in a thought thinking, oh gosh, I, I wanted to work in this place maybe only for a month or two. And 10 years later, I'm still here. Um, <laughs> could be the same with your, uh, with your life in general. You kind of feel like I need something new. I need to dust off those cobwebs of books, dust off the cobwebs of some sort of a journaling maybe that you're doing, some sort of talent, some sort of a, um, things that you enjoy doing it. Okay. Um, I feel like there's some changes in relationship happening as well with your, not just with your partner or family, but it could be peer group as well. That feels like... You know, like you're like that butterfly when you suddenly or realize it's time for me to fly, time to, for me to come out of the cocoon, that kind of comfy, cushy, or the same or same or me. Okay, maybe you want to change your hair color, maybe you want to change everything. And it starts, it can rock some boats, you know, it can because people get used to your visual, people get used to your habits, or they use, abuse it, whatever that is. Okay. And I feel like unlikely you're going to get some support. You might miss that because we have the gossip here right next to it. It could be as well that you need to be really, really strong. And that you might get actually some sort of um, uh, pushback. And people might say, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Well, you could say, I'm not doing it to you. I'm doing it to myself. I want to change this. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with what we have? You know, and a lot of people don't want to change. And they don't want you to change either. But look, I feel like you are definitely um, coming to the point. There is no, there is no other time. It's now because we look. We have risk reward ratio and destiny. Huge, huge changes. We have major roads ahead as well. You come, you're coming to the point. No return. This is it. If something needs to happen now. You feel like even small change. You feel like. Something needs to give. Something needs to happen. And if not now, then when? And you might feel like I'm sick to death, literally. Waiting for something to happen. For some sort of hopes. For some sort of dreams. And you know, like, you kind of feel like, you know, realize that as well. If you don't do, if I don't do something about this, no one will. It is my responsibility my happiness is my responsibility, no one's else's. I can't put that burden on someone. Oh, I wish someone comes and makes me happy. It's not their job to make you happy. It's not your job to make no one else happy either. You are rewriting your life. Maybe some of you are writing actually, or memoirs, okay? That's Ten of Pentacles here. And that is about money. Maybe some of you are going to, uh, banking on to uh, maybe traveling or writing about your daily life or blogging or vlogging whatever it is but you are rewriting your life and you you know this that doesn't matter where you come from what was your background you can rewrite the story have fun I know you will. I know you will. Group number one. What, a, what an opening indeed. Let's have a look what Tara would like to clarify. I'd like to clarify this um, relationship a little bit here. And there we go. Something is going to end. That is Ten of Swords. You can't. This is massive. 
it's like look he has the 10 um 10 swords in his back and feels like i can't do this no more i can't i just can't i don't want to and that's it end of story there's no arguments look how all is watching all is kind of looks a little bit sad but all is saying you're clever and you were suffering out in relationship you were suffering to please maybe others or keep the peace around you but by doing so you started war inside yourself so it's just natural but you know what the daylight is coming and the new beginnings is coming this is ending this is the closure and it doesn't have to be dramatically as if someone you might believe someone or love someone might leave you but there is definitely some sort of chapter ending something is maybe you're going to the some sort of um um therapist or relationship therapist or whatever it is but as it is right now can't go no longer okay maybe you are wrapping up some sort of dreams or hopes or reuniting with the person or people could be as well that you are end up like end of era for you to carry some sort of heavy burdens and someone maybe is constantly talking about you and you're like no no more i can't take this no more what else advice do you have here? You need to heal. This will take some time to heal. Meditation. Um, there's a lot of, there's a free lot of advice as well in YouTube or books, anything like that. Whatever you resonate or get drawn to, you will find. You will find the soothing words to understand, to forgive yourself as well. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Interesting, we have two tens. I do have a sense of feeling that you will find the peace. Whether with those people around you or not, but you are about to find the peace. And very interesting, this card re reflects on feeling good, even though not everything might be perfect in your life, but finding that feeling first. There is something in your life that makes you happy. Focus on things that make you happy. Focus on things that makes you fulfilled and happy. It is for better. A lot of changes happening here. April. Let's have a look at the career. And I want to clarify the career here. Oh, Six of Cups. Very happy. Really, really happy. I love the way these blonde two um, little kids toddlers are playing with water there's a flowers there do you know that kind of playful feeling very very happy feeling wow rewards fantastic that is fantastic you, like you have two sixes and uh, i'm not saying six is um six is just six it's like six is number that's an energy but it kind of makes sense that in money because six is a uh, materialistic um energy okay uh in money area you are actually making progress and it makes you fulfilled and makes you and excited this is kind of like some sort of project or part of project will come to um some sort of not closure but maybe phases are closing or some sort of little reward as well there could be some money or a reward or increase of money um less likely to reduce taxes but it could be some uh recognition as well is there anything else you need to know about career wow fantastic queen of wands you're gonna be on top of your game like it kind of feels that because queen of wands uh, queens are patient and they listen they listen to their heart they listen to their intuition look at the cat is purring in her lap okay and she feels happy whatever you do you're gonna find that happy feeling happy um how to have that fulfillment whatever the job is you will find something good about it you will find something that you can learn from it and you can transfer those skills later on in something else perhaps but have the feeling even though there's a lots of drama dra drama perhaps at work you're gonna feel like duck in the water i love ducks okay i'm gonna pull a couple cards for general 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 energy for the month 
Okay, so there could be some new items that are coming into your life, either new people that you're learning how to deal with, or new things, um, maybe even a pet, okay, and you might learn how to um, focus on the time, how to um, how to put the time aside, okay, because you might feel that sometimes oh, there's so much, so much literally going on, and I feel that there is so much going on, Your both hands are full with things, okay, your mind is full of uh, thinking about this that and other uh it's just to finding uh, kind of find those calming waters how to organize and reorganize your time but perhaps a little bit better that's what i'm feeling here in general thank you wow okay knight of cups i did see this card underneath before there is going to be either a new offer from the family or a person that will come out maybe with an olive branch or saying hello and they might do in different way you expect it okay maybe in a public they they say one thing but in the individual phone call to you they might say something different okay this is as well um an offer nights are movements and actions as well and it's a, some sort of activity i kind of feel like it could be even you who comes out and offers the olive branch and kind of having that peace and if that could be the person maybe that leaves or you leave someone you don't have to be enemies you can be still be uh amicable and maybe not as friendly if you don't feel that way but at least you can um part um part your differences and be civilized okay well this is offer as well this there could be some sort of proposal from the new person maybe there's a new love or friendship actually strong friendship um in your life as well and and knights are cards of movement you are moving emotionally you're growing emotionally and what a month it is indeed and that I have for you. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you think that someone might benefit from this reading, please share with, um, with those beautiful people as well. Anyways, but if you want to stick around, please welcome to my channel. I do daily shorts, daily readings, lots of bigger card readings. There's plenty to explore for everyone. And thank you so much for supporting me by being here and subscribing and commenting. And that really helps me to help you. And that's why I call energy exchange. Right, group number one. That's all I have for you. Thanks again. And I'm sending you love and light and abundance. And I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da! Hello, hello, hello. Group number two. Why do we have so delight? Welcome. So, what do we have? We have Virgo. We have Gemini, we have Pisces, and we have Aquarius. Hello, if you choose group number, number two, you chose this. Emperor, rather strict and serious, he looks like. Indeed. I'm going to pop in here. Okay. Right. Let's reveal what your cards say. Oh, assessing, looking for new horizons, shadow treasures, digging deep. Wow. Main male. Okay. Very independent energy. Parental care. Let go. Hmm. Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Wow. Adventure, look at that. We have assessing like uh, literally in the air balloon or looking at the future or looking something. Anchor. Okay, right underneath the treasure, a uh, shadow treasure is kind of like deep, digging deep, like literally as the solar eclipse uh, we have and full moon in Scorpio. Black kitten, inner child, and road works ahead. Some sort of interesting. Um, let me soak in this energy for a little bit. Hmm. I do straight away. I feel like some of you are <laughs> dropping a serious face and becoming more playful or taking different definitely the road works ahead. You're taking different approach, taking different there's some sort of a diversion happening, some sort of discovery, and you are um taking different path. You're looking for uh more deeper meaning in things or into something i kind of do feel like especially about around on the full moon in no time uh in scorpia you're going to be digging deep you want to find something out 
Okay. I do feel like you want to find out something about yourself. What makes you happy? You really want to work on those inner treasures that you have. These are your treasures. No one else. This is not like just gold. This is you. You're really unlocking your potential. Either this regarding money. Is this curry here? Really trying to figure out what I'm made of. What makes me happy? What I like to do? What I don't like to do? Okay. And hence you have this kind of inner child that is talking about be more playful. Look at the children. They um, they are ever so um, easy and light and letting go. Okay. It's kind of interesting. You could be a parent yourself. Okay. But you are a child still to someone. Okay. Whether you are having con contact with your parents or not, you are still a child in, in times you, you perhaps want to be nourished and nurtured and cared for. Okay. And that's what's universe and uh, God is looking after its own children. And it kind of reminds here as well in April, it's very important to have that time for yourself. It isn't just a vacation, maybe hideaway, but it could be time where you need to spend on your own, um, either meditating, doing things that you really like. Maybe is there some sort of a, a jigsaw puzzle that you wanted to finish? Is there some book you wanted to do? Right. Whatever reason, whether you want to pub publish it or not, it's just something for yourself. It's really, I do sense that this month for you is going to be much more about you as a person rather than, uh, I know the first group has completely different energy. This one is just about you. This is about you. You want to find yourself. You want to really focus what makes you happy. Listening maybe to podcasts and realizing, yes, this makes me, this makes me happy. This, no, not that much. Okay. And kind of sifting through things that uh, perhaps you would like to pursue or go further. I do sense that uh, you want, you are looking for that peace of mind a little bit somewhere here because anchor is about that finding that happy place uh finding that um place where you feel safe maybe that's your home you're creating that you know so it's important to kind of see who is allowed into your home who do you enter in, who are you allowed to come in because they bring energy into your home okay and it's important then um to air your home cleanse your home you know sometimes you can walk in a room and someone has just had an argument and you're not maybe not heard the argument, but you just walk in and you can sense that something is off. You can sense that something is not right. And I feel like you are focusing on your uh, home, your place, your location as well. So is your body. Maybe some of you are starting uh, a new, um, I wouldn't call it a diet, but more kind of the healthier lifestyle. Tiny, tiny bit start. Maybe starting with fresh water in the morning and that's it for a week and then something else introduced there's some sort of changes you really want to look after yourself um to get the most out of you there's a deep deep i feel like there's a huge deep love for yourself that is trying to get out um for you to recognize this how important it is that the inner dialogue that you have with yourself is the longest dialogue that you will ever have and those words matter because every word that you say to yourself it really builds a picture and that builds that who you are and how people approach. Do you have boundaries? See the kind of interesting self-work here we have. Let's have a look at, um, I want to have a look at the parental care. Why do we have this in here? Um, parental care, ace of pentacles. It could be that maybe some, a, a parent or someone who you see as a parent or authority or someone who is um, kind of caring side to you or could be mentor, could be boss even, doesn't matter. Kind of give you way, you know, support you on the way you operate or business or at work. Okay. It kind of feels like someone's giving you the supporting hand. Look, here is the here's the coin. You use this coin to do this and this, right? It could be as well. It, what is, uh, what is uh, pentacles? Pentacles are how to deal with things, actual it could be money, it could be opportunity to make more money or um, giving you a good advice how to fulfill your CV and do things, okay? And definitely aces are about starting, it's about you. Or it could be as well that you are finding, okay, this is how I need to maybe uh, change my attitude towards even parents, okay? You can't change them. They're not going to change and you're not going to change. But you can twerk something. You can um, you know, change a tiny bit, maybe... Um, 
there's the things you like to enjoy discussing, perhaps, and there's something you you always end up in arguments. So maybe avoid that conversations that end up in arguments. Focus on things that that create a happy conversation, right? If that's regarding relationship. But I, I feel like if this is regarding uh, monies, I feel like someone is giving you a hand maybe and or some sort of support or advice even. Yes, look at that. And look, it is definitely goes hand in hand. And you know what? When Ace of Cups appears, someone is giving you their heart or you giving your heart or someone's giving olive branch or having a phone call you left a phone call voicemail and the person is calling you back it is kind of like like for like and two aces it definitely are new beginnings okay maybe there's some relationship um uh, improvements happening improvements i'm not saying it's going to be resolved but it's kind of like little by little little steps let's let's try this okay let's see how things goes at least you're trying but in a business actually this is as well ace is the beginning of kind of new emotion okay so there's, you're doing something perhaps that is triggering new emotions, emotional experience. And it's ever so exciting because I feel like this month here is definitely about emotions and mindset and mentality, um, about your body as well, all involving you, 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 you. I want to have a look what what you need to let go. What you need to let go? Love. Oh, wow. Okay. Isn't this interesting? Okay, underneath we have eight of cups. Right, that is so interesting. This is a card of letting go. I'm going. Okay. Right. When you love someone, whatever that love is, is this unconditional or love for a partner, love for a parent, for a child, whatever it is, it is unconditional. And you know whether what you talk, what you discuss with this person. Are you asking something for them to do or change? Let it be. And the, the two cups is really kind of, we are equal. But sometimes maybe I misunderstand you and you misunderstand me. Some of you actually might meet a person, okay? Um, and it could really create a beautiful energy. And maybe it may be as well. To some of you, maybe if you had a person that you were uh, romantically involved and you have separated or so, you might actually find that now since you are separated, you actually have a better connection, like platonic or friendship. This is a new friendship as well. This is a new um, relationship kind of involving here. But why it's interesting, it's, it's the card is saying I'm strong enough to walk away from things that does not fulfill me. And especially around the full moon in Scorpio, you might feel, you know, what is fulfilling me? Are these conversations with my friends over a pub, in a pub or a pier, do they fulfill me? Do they entertain me? Maybe sometimes, yes, okay. But, and I'm not saying you need to kind of sift through who is who and let them go or every person that you don't gain, like, huge knowledge and such but really kind of re um, revisiting these relationships that you have and the value mm -hmm. maybe you're draining energy there okay and sometimes yes you might not be able to completely um cut that relationship off because maybe that could be family members or very close people you're working on but you can maybe reduce because you need to protect your own energy all right let's have a look at at the general energy for the month group number two it's very interesting interesting number group number one had exactly the same card juggling Okay, it is performing as well. I do feel like some of you maybe are performing something here. Look how she's dancing, uh, dancing in, um, and there's a massive storm behind. Okay, um, I hope you're dancing to your own tune, not someone else's. But oh wow, the two cards are coming through. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have Seven of Swords. There is definitely someone's going to be leaving uh, your 
phone <laughs> your phone book and your home your life in ways look at this kind yin yang yang it's kind of like having that balance i do sense that there's a lot of relationship uh, and not just love relationship but the relationships per se and relationship with yourself as well that you will want to have a balance and peace of mind and you will kind of literally sort through it, or like a spring clean you know how do i feel about this blouse and how do you feel about this person you know it literally like that kind of conversations and you're like those who do not deserve me or those who do contribute or those who don't value me or so and so i don't have time for that i want it all or nothing i want to clarify the seven of swords here yeah. princess of swords Yeah, definitely your your ways of viewing things and saying things is changing. And that could really surprise other people. Being mindful of how your words impact others is important. You are the star. Absolutely. We have the star here as well. And it, you you come first. Chapter one, selfishness. If that's so be it, okay? Because it's no need to suffer for someone else. I do feel like some of you want to really be the best version of you. And this is your months to achieve that. To kind of create that beautiful foundation for your growth. amazing and that's all i have for you i hope this helps i hope this helps my beautiful selves but if you think someone might benefit from this reading please share this reading with them and i thank you for being here as well and your support when you like and comment and subscribe it really helps me and that's what i call energy exchange but if you want to stick around please do welcome to my channel there's plenty to explore for everybody so happy april everyone <laughs> and sending you love light and abundance and i'll see you in the next reading Tada, darling hello group number three if you chose this kind of smoky pinky crystal here this one is for you or you are cancer or sagittarius or libra or aries happy birthday aries right group number three so you chose this rather interesting looking emperor he looks like he creates patents doesn't he very clever very clever indeed okay i'm gonna pop him here right let's have a look at your cards for april 2024 path number eight Wow, two eights, divine connection. Wow, this is interesting. 28 again, triple eight, expectation, self employment. Interesting, interesting. Meditation brings awareness. <laughs> Roller coaster, highest high adrenaline in rush. Mm. you are kidding me we have gentlemen 20 it's completely different deck F four eights wow family home sacred space oh no entry oh drawing some boundaries i like it i like it a lot okay let me let me soak into it's completely different energy than group number one or two Okay, so th this is very strongly, um, if the group number one was a sim little bit maybe similar, but not as direct. This one is very much of career, and this is very much of um, having those boundaries. I feel like some of you are working 
extremely hard or you are go about to engage into activities or business or working and side hustles or something along the lines where you are going to be super super busy very ambitious okay this is month's going to be very ambitious you literally are well i'm seeing the no entry i feel like you're going to be switching off your phone because so no one can um disturb you because you're busy you are building something the roller coaster high rush it kind of feels that you want to achieve something really really a lot okay and maybe someone has said to you 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 will never get there you feel like i'll watch me okay watch me and look at what what's lady here she's looking how to get up there it's kind of how to get up there how to get up the ladder how to get up the property ladder how to get up the career ladder you know that past maybe you need to have some um uh gameplay to have or i feel like some of you are ever extremely either busy learning uh um doing some courses maybe doing exams even and passing through something expectation there's a lot of pressure i feel like there's a lot of self-pressure from no one else as, as yourself and i hence i'm seeing as well this divine connection is this is for you this is your your business this is your future okay and i feel some of you are who are watching are maybe are rather young or at the age where you feel like i have time to change my career maybe you're studying at the evenings or weekends and you're really pushing yourself to improve your life not just for yourself but others as well your family and i feel like some you are super 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 focused ambitious to make that life better i always believe the family home is a sacred space it's my sanctuary as well but and i feel like some of you are literally this is where i grow this is where i can be me this is where i can relax i can be i can be i am safe and with the gentleman here this is really much of a self and me individuality being in my being happy and fulfilled in my own skin in my own life and if i don't like something i will change it there is definitely a lot of awareness around you right now your realizations there's a lot of realizations in your life you realize um what you like what you don't like what you want and not want in your life you're very particular on who enters your space even your phone book you wouldn't put everyone's number in there or you might not even have a social media or if you have it's very very restricted because you don't want to cl declutter it um some of you could be very sensitive to uh comments or anything like that so you're just like i just don't need this i'm focused on what i need to achieve i focused on my business my self-employment starting building something and you're learning there okay you're learning and you're really really focused maybe people might be calling out oh let's go for drinks or let's go for dinner or something you're like no i'm doing something i'm doing something for for myself something i want to build um wow i do i do sense your ambition is oozing oozing let's have a look at them um, have a look at the past first let's have a look at the past and number eight probably is your number this month we have eight 28 uh, 28 again and number eight here so hello <laughs> um yeah how many eights do you need more and merrier number eight is eternity it is abundance and it's about money as well uh success okay and not just money success but this is like fulfillment success let's have a look at the past now queen of cups queens are about um uh, learning and studying i do feel like some of you are really learning a lot you're learning um new ways of thinking and feeling and you kind of uh, when you see something new you literally listen you you absorb and really take in and you're very patient at the moment. There is going to be some support. Maybe you need a grant for studies or um, someone to mind your children or a cat or dog, whatever, while you are doing something, either working or studying. I do sense that there's a so support is coming your way as well. 
Seven of Cups, there will be a lot of opportunities here. You will find actually, oh my God, I didn't realize how much um, choice is there. How much actually, it kind of really has broadened your horizon big time. And with the two of ones, with Aries, hello, uh, you're holding the world. You kind of, okay, I have the power to change my life. I have the power to change my world. The world is my oyster. It's right up my, to my, there by my feet. It's the universe is there to support me. I feel like some of you are becoming a huge manifestation gurus or something. And in years time, maybe you will be able to share this knowledge. How do you achieve what you achieved uh, with others? I feel like you, some of you are realized you have such a potential. As whatever you are, whatever you are right now in your life, you are in the right place, right time. Let's have a look at self-employment. What you need to know there. This card is coming up. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. So universe is giving you this opportunity. You're going to find yourself, wow, out of whatever situation has come out, you will find opportunity. You will see where no one else can. See the gold pot there at the end? Just take this cup, not this cup, but take this pentacle and walk this path. You will get the money. You will, a kind of feeling you're figuring or realizing this is the path I want to take. This is business I want to focus on. This is the idea. Yes, you will kind of play around and change and update and so and so, but kind of really narrowing down. I'm feeling like a tunnel is kind of like closing in and it's kind of like pointing like a massive arrows. This, pick this, pick this. And you, and you will choose what it is you want. And when you're clear on that, it's like you're halfway there. Okay, because some people very often float. Oh, I'll have a restaurant, but can you cook now? Do you like it? Not really, but yeah, the idea I like it. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? To finding what it is that you want to do is you're halfway there. Anything else about self-employment? These two are coming out. Wow. King of Pentacles, you will master it and you will be doing on your own. Look at her. We have the Virgo here and look what he's doing. He's, he's, he's having the star. He's following the star. He's following where he needs to go and it might take some time. Okay. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it is going to pay off. It's going to make money. It is going to work out because you're going to turn up every, every day. You're going to put the time in. You're going to put your efforts in, perhaps even your money in, right? Just be mindful of that. I'm not financially advising here, nothing. But Hermit is really much, could be maybe you're going into like a, this is definitely the self-employed energy because he's doing on his own. Okay. He could be bringing light to the uh, world. You, what you do is going to enlighten not just your life, but others as well. But you're doing it on your own behind the scenes. No one can see you, perhaps, how much work it goes in, how much you have done. Okay, But look, next to that is King of Pentacles. The things really work out. And this is the knowledge that you will get, be empowered. The, some sort of words will come in as well. And you become qualified. This is a card of qualification. Qualified of uh, practicality. Pentacles are about... Things that you can do, you per perhaps become much better on what you do. You're going to hone your craft. You're going to hone your talents and work it, work it, work it. OK, it feels very, very self um, cent centered positively. Uh, months where you're narrowing things down that you want to pursue. Very ambitious. Focus on what you need to do. Not allowing any distractions in my life. Wow. I'm going to pull a general kind of energy for this uh, month for you, group number three. I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you're doing in your life. And I, I just want to hear how it's going. Okay, let's have a look. Group number three, general uh, energy for this month. Nine of Wands, not giving in. Okay, he's kind of looking at how much I have left not, so I don't run out of steam. Okay, look how he's. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll show you something. So it's kind of like you're looking, okay, so how far to I'm, I'm reaching to the top, okay? How far so I can enter that next level? And nine of wonders kind of, I'm not giving in. Yes, it is a bit hard, okay? But I'm not giving in. I'm, I'm, I'm nearly there because nines are close to completion. And so many of us, 
me, including sometimes, we have given up right five minutes before things really worked out. See, you're building fantastic foundation. You are finding a place. Look how these ladies, they found a place. Oh, this looks like a good place. Let's build a tent. Let's build a business here. This is a good spot. This is a great, great spot. Let's build a foundation and let's do it right. It is could be in your home even, sacred space, okay? Maybe some of you are creating that space in your home or um, maybe you're creating an office in your space. You're reorganizing your home to make sure that you can be the, no, no, un, uninterrupted by your family members or, or dogs or cats, whatever, and, and building something. This is for future. This is, look how happy she is. You know, she's she's getting up on that that little bench to get things up and going. So celebrating some sort of victory. Yeah, we found a spot. We found a, like in your self self employment. You found a place that you would like to pursue. Great, fantastic. What's next? Let's get the knowledge in. Let's learn why we are still working and start to apply this knowledge. Fantastic. Kind of taking one step at a time. And being extra positive. And one more card I'm going to pull out for this month. Wow, tower. Okay, so here is the advice from universe. You will find opportunities where no one else can. This is a eureka moment. And very often you would read the tower completely different, but not this time. Now, as you can see underneath, universe is going to give you that kind of coin here. Okay, because... Whatever everyone's got, maybe be running around with like a headless chickens, you're going to spot opportunity. You are going to spot some sort of niche market or niche, very simple even, something no one else has spotted. This is a moment where you feel like, aha, this is what I need to do. This is what it is I, I need to go for. And that could, ha could happen through some sort of, um, by default, or some sort of uh, some sort of situation, right? And it is as well ch the crown chakra. So spiritually, you will have some huge enlightenment, like literally like magician, you will be creating maybe new, I don't know, pat patents or new uh, recipes or new ideas or new ingredients for makeup or something else uh, or new tarot cards even. Who knows, right? But it's really kind of like that enlightenment. Oh, and you realize maybe whatever you knew before, doesn't matter because there's a new chapter starting you're building something new you're building something new i'm gonna pull one more card because i'm not gonna finish in tower here we go lovers you're gonna do what you love a lot okay however if you're turning your hobby into business please treat like one this is not you need to treat it seriously otherwise it's not gonna it's just gonna be still hobby that sometimes makes money if you want to make money from it you need to be serious about it. Turn up every day. It's it's your job then, okay? You're turning, if you if you are turning something from your hobby into a business. However, lovers is about relationships. Having that good, harmonious life, okay? And balance. Balance between work and home. Having that, you know, you, you can still be ambitious and, and uh, very self-driven, but still not forgetting about your relationships as well and here we are how about that <laughs> all right team my beautiful souls that's all i have for you for april i hope this helps let me know in the comment section if you think that someone might benefit from this reading please share this with them okay and i'm ever so grateful for you doing so and for you being here and when you subscribe as well if you wish and like and comment that helps me to help you Okay, happy April. I'm sending you love and light and an abundance as always. And I'll see you next reading. Take care, my darlings. Ta-da.